Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPT Nati. This is Manmohit. Now guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you all about the describe image topic of the PT exam, important tips about this topic, what to do, what to avoid, all those kind of things. So I'm going to make this a very short video to the point, just so you guys know exactly what to do. And once you start doing those things, you can expect a full score for your describe image topic. Now, just before I proceed, if you need any sort of help and support with your PT or the Nati exam, Nati could be Hindi, Punjabi or Gujarati. You can message us on Instagram or Facebook. The links are there in the description or just search for M and M M P T Nati and you will find us over there. Message us and we can have a discussion about how we can assist you, whether it's coaching, prediction file and whatnot. Now, looking at this topic, what happens in this one is it has changed now now it's been a while but now you only get three to four questions for describe image only three to four images and you only get marks in your speaking module so this is one such topic where it is an important topic a very important topic but it only gives you points for speaking and no other module because we know in other some of the other topics the score sharing happens for example in read aloud you will be getting marks in speaking but at the same time you will be getting the marks in the reading module as well here it's only and purely in speaking this implies this one thing that this task is purely for the speaking module and not for any other module i can clarify this thing right out of the way that here content is not the main priority what matters the most is in this topic is your fluency and the pronunciation that's the only two things that the computer is going to look at content is not really a compulsory thing that you have to do in here yes you have to still speak a couple of keywords from the image that's absolutely right but computer is not going to be first about the type of content that you're putting on one person is giving like 50 keywords from the image another person is only giving like 10 keywords or five keywords from the image that does not matter the only thing computer is going to worry about is your fluency how fluent you are and pronunciation as to so how clearly are you pronouncing all the words in terms of scoring this topic is giving you marks in just your speaking module and that's about 25 to 30 marks out of 90. so it is definitely a really important topic i would say because 30 marks out of 90 that's literally one third of your speaking coming from just one topic so we have to make sure we practice this a lot every day because we know a good chunk of marks are coming out of this but again at the same time we have to keep in mind about the content part we do not have to stress about it and as long as our fluency and pronunciation is maintained we should be all good now what do we mean by fluency fluency just means the flow of your speech it does not mean you cannot take any pauses anywhere in your image i've seen many students doing it in that way where they speak out their complete describe image like a bullet train, they do not even take a single breath, a single pause in this entire describe image. That is not what we are supposed to do. We can take pauses at the end of one sentence. That just shows to computer that we are speaking naturally and not just sounding like a robot. So pauses are absolutely acceptable. However, always limit your pauses to the end of the sentence. Do not just after every couple of words, start reading it out in phrases that is not required. Once you complete a sentence, just take a slight pause and you should be okay. In terms of speed, you do not have to speak like a bullet train. You just have to speak at a natural speed. The easiest way to understand your natural speed is the speed at which you would be speaking your mother tongue is the exact same speed you should be speaking this English language. So the same speed that you speak with your friends or family in your own language is the exact same speed I would be speaking in my English language. Just copy the same speed and you should be okay. You don't have to deliberately increase or reduce your speed to get more marks. That is not required. In terms of volume, for the volume part, as in how loud you need to be, again, just speak at the natural volume. The easiest way to understand this part would be just consider the computer that is in front of you as your friend. Now, you know how close that computer it is to you. Now, when you speak, the volume just needs to be audible. The volume just needs to be natural. You don't, when you speak with a friend or someone who is right in front of you, you don't scream or yell or speak really loudly. You just speak at a natural volume. So right now the volume that I'm speaking with, because I've got the mic right in front of me, right? So I am also speaking in a natural volume now. People make mistakes in this thing, at least in the exam, because what happens is in the exam, you would be wearing those headphones and you would be sitting with another eight or 10 or at least 15 different students in the real exam when every single person is doing speaking at the same time plus you're wearing the headphones where you can't 
really understand your words or whatever you are saying you can't hear yourself properly with that our natural state goes into where we start to increase our volume gradually because we can't hear ourselves we can hear other people we deliberately try to increase our volume that is absolutely wrong in the exam the mic is right here right in front of you so if you speak loudly your volume will be recorded loudly and there is a higher chance that computer software the computer software may not understand you properly when you go above their frequency so we have to make sure that we speak at a natural volume and like i said we have to make sure we speak at a natural speed as well and pronunciation is all about how clearly you can pronounce the words the best way to do that would be when you speak just use your jaws open your mouth as wide as possible just so that whatever words are coming out of your mouth they are very clear and concise the clarity is very important i've seen some students they speak with their mouth closed this is one habit that we would have to change especially in the speaking module that you have to use your jaws you have to open up your mouth wider just so that all the words are coming out very clearly so these were the few things that i wanted to share for the describe image topic now let's do one describe image together so as you can see i've got an image over here that is an exam image and it could be any image it does not matter and then i've listed the template as well alongside it so we are going to use this template so that's the one that we provide i would also be putting the link for this one in our description you can send you can pretty much just download that after it and memorize this one as you can see this in this template they've got four sentences there are four sentences you just have to memorize that you don't have to change a single word out of it the only thing we are going to change in the exam is just those categories the bold words that have been written in that template you just have to replace them with the keywords from the image itself and you're going to be all good now in describe image you do get 25 to 30 seconds to prepare for your image you get 25 seconds and afterwards you have to speak for 40 seconds on that particular describe image so again if they give you 40 seconds it does not really mean that you have to speak for 40 seconds you can as long as you're speaking for at least 20 seconds you are going to be all good in your describe image you can even speak for 15 seconds there's nothing wrong in that but do not go beyond do not go below 15 seconds because if you are just speaking for 5 or 10 seconds that just shows to the computer that you're not giving them enough content to work out with so i would at least give them 15 to 20 seconds worth of content and i should be all good with that so as you can see the image over here now there's so much content written on this image i'm not even going to look at that my job in describe image like i said content is not important my job in describe images to make to keep my content as simple as i can when i look at this image my very first thing that i'm going to look at is is the colors that are given in the image now even though they haven't written the words of the colors over here but at least i can see that it's a colorful image even if this image was a black and white image i would still go with those two colors which is black and white here what i can do is i can go with the color blue I can go with the color green, I can go with the color brown. So blue, green, brown. There's yellow in there. There's also the black color, like the outlines that you can see. There's also a white color of the text that is given over here. So if you see, I don't even have to think of the categories that are given there in the image, like the sunlight, auto and factory emissions, all that stuff. It's not really required because I can just play around with my colors and I should be all good. If you look in the template, it says category one, two, three, and four. That means we just need four categories out of the image and we should be all good. I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. So what I'm going to pick is, I'm just going to pick the colors from this image. So I'm just going to go with blue, green, brown, and yellow. That's it. And with that, I would be able to complete my describe image. If you look at the template now, the very first sentence, the image describes some important information. That's it. Second, it also provides information about the image in various aspects, such as blue, green, brown, yellow, and so on. So this is how I would be fitting those four categories, those four colors in this particular template. And then I'll say, and so on. So my second sentence would be done with that. Third sentence, it is evident from the image that category one, here I can just repeat the categories, that is absolutely fine. You can say some different categories, there's nothing wrong in that. But again, to keep it simple, I'm just going to say the same words again, and it is absolutely correct. It is evident from the image that blue is on the left-hand side of the image, whereas on the other hand, green is on the right-hand side of the image. 
Now, if you look at the image carefully, there's nothing like blue is on the left or green is on the right. But I did say that in the template. Again, like I said, computer is not really bothered about the content part. They just want to see how fluently you speak and how well you can pronounce all the words. And my final fourth sentence would be, in conclusion, we can see that brown is at the top of the image, whereas on the other hand, yellow is at the bottom of the image. Or you can just say it the other way around. That is absolutely fine. So now what I'll do is I'll just speak out all these four sentences in a row in a sequence as to how exactly I would be speaking that in my real exam. This image describes some important information. It also provides information about the image in various aspects such as blue, green, brown, yellow, and so on. It is evident from the image that blue is on the left-hand side of the image, whereas on the other hand, brown is on the right-hand side of the image. In conclusion, we can see that green is at the top of the image, whereas on the other hand, yellow is at the bottom of the image. And job done. So this is what I would be doing in my real exam as well for every single image. So even if you get three or four images in the exam, I'm not going to change my template for every single image in the exam. I'm just going to still stick with the same template and I'm still going to just pick a couple of keywords, couple of colors from the image, fit that in the template, speak my answer fluently and pronounce all the words correctly. And with that, I would be getting a full score in my describe image, which would be 25 to 30 marks out of 90, depending on how many images do I get in the exam. I hope this video was helpful. If you have got any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section below and me and Hoi can reply to you guys as quickly as possible. If you have any sort of questions or if you need any sort of help or assistance with your preparation for the PT or the NATI exam, Hindi, Punjabi or Gujarati, feel free to get in touch with us on Instagram or Facebook. Links are there in the description and we can have a discussion around the same. All the best if you have got your exams coming soon. I wish you all the luck. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video.